Hi everybody, welcome to Easy Tutorials. In this video, we are going to see an introduction to algorithm. So we will see an analogy for algorithm. You may be watching cooking shows in either TV channels or YouTube channels. So if you are taking that cooking uh, video as an uh, analogy and comparing and if you are studying algorithm, it will be very easy for you. So what they will show in the cooking shows. So first, initially they will say what they are going to do. In this video, we are going to see how to make Dalgona coffee. So that will be the first uh, thing they will be uh, showing in the video. The second thing what they will show. The ingredients required to prepare Dalgona coffee are coffee powder, milk, etc. So the ingredients will be the second one. And the third one will be the step-by-step -step procedure for making that recipe. Same way, algorithm will be giving you a finite output for a given set of input and uh, finally you have to accomplish a task. So uh, the definition for algorithm has three main characteristics, definite, effective and instruction. So definite means uh, it should be clear and unambiguous with precise steps. Up. Suppose uh, you want to take a fistful of sugar like that they are telling me uh, will it be clear for everyone because I may be having a very small hand some other may be having a very big hand if a small girl is making Dalgona coffee she will be having very very small hand so the requirements differ unambiguous means more than one way so a fistful of sugar means it differs suppose if it is said two spoons of sugar it will be two tablespoon of sugar so everyone uh, will be having, uh, having only one way of perception that is only two tablespoons. So that is called as definiteness. So definiteness means it should be clear and unambiguous. Unambiguous means leading to more than one way. It should ambiguous means leading to more than one way. Unambiguous means it should not be so. So that is definiteness. Effectiveness means it is very very simple and easy. We should not do any complications in the most simple way you have to produce that is effectiveness so finite means the number of uh, steps should be discrete that is you should end at one point so keep on stirring this like that you are uh, you're adding milk you're adding coffee powder keep on stirring this if if it is a statement like that how long you have to do that so stir it for two minutes or stir it for 10 times so if they are telling like that then you can say that that is a very good cooking show. Same way, if you are writing algorithm in this way, it is a very good algorithm. So the definition for algorithm goes like this. It is a sequence of uh, definite and effective instruction which produce finite output for a given set of input and it accomplishes a task. So uh, generally, if you are speaking, set of uh, instructions to accomplish a task. That is a very vague definition. Uh, as per uh, good textbooks, the algorithm definition should involve effectiveness, finiteness and definiteness. So definite, effective and finite. These three keywords are very important. For the given set of input, you should get an output by doing a task. That is the meaning for algorithm. So algorithm is a sequence of definite and effective instruction which produces finite output. Finite output means it is quantifiable. That is the meaning. Finite output for a given set of input and finally it accomplishes a task so characteristics are input should be either zero or many because without inputs also you can uh, generate uh, any algorithms uh, then output should be one or many example for uh, an algorithm without input is uh, fibonacci series for first 10 numbers if that is the problem statement nothing is needed so input is zero so input can be zero or many. Surely you should get at least one output. You can also get many output. Definiteness. That is it should be very clear and should not give more than one way of uh, perception. That is unambiguous with precise steps. Then effectiveness which is simple and easy. Then finiteness means number of steps should be discrete. That is it should stop at some point. That is finiteness. Then generality. Generality means it should solve all possible uh, test cases. So uh, if you are writing a program for addition of number, 
if you are giving negative number then also it should be able to add if you are giving positive number then also it should be uh, able to add so all possible uh, input should be handled that is the meaning of generality this is one more characteristics uh, which is which was not mentioned in the uh, algorithm definition so these are the characteristics or properties of algorithms then how should an algorithm be written so it should be very uh, simple the language should be very simple generally in english we write so in simple english it should be very small that is precise it should be uh, providing you with accurate or correct solutions it should stop at some point that is have an end point then you have to have finite quantifiable steps and the statement should not uh, lead to ambiguity that is it should be definite so these are the things you have to note while writing an algorithm let us see an example for that so how to calculate a simple interest so whenever you are writing an algorithm don't write start the algorithm stop the algorithm like that first and last one you need not write that at all so always the first step uh, can have input and the last step can have uh, output so uh, if that is the way it will be very uh, neat and uniform so first always write with the input so if you want to calculate the simple in interest before writing a, a program you can write an algorithm so what are the things required to calculate interest p n and r so you are reading or getting the input p n and r and finally the output will be you will be calculating and printing the si so print si or si in the sense simple interest or write si anything you can write the middle you have this is very small problem so the middle you have only one step calculate si you have the formula p into n into r by 100 so if you are doing this calculation you will get the output so this is a very simple algorithm so next uh, example how to find whether the student is pass or fail in an exam so you will be getting marks that is the first step so that is input so how will you tell whether the student has uh, passed or not if the uh, based on the classes and the schools the algorithm differs so here i am considering i am taking uh, average for that and if my average crosses 50 i will say that uh, the person got pass mark so this is my uh, logic i am going to follow so compute grade is equal to m1 plus m2 plus m3 plus m4 divided by 4 so this is the uh, logic for calculating the average or formula for calculating the average you have to compute that and uh, i'll be telling pass if my grade is above 50 if it is less than 50 it is fail so if grade is less than 50 then print fail else print pass end you can write like this so this is how you have to write algorithm so always start with the uh, input and end with the output so how you get the output from the given input you will be doing some process that must be written in the middle this is how you have to write the algorithm the next lecture series we will be seeing how to write pseudo code so this will be somewhat written statements instead of having statements we can use many symbols and uh, write the uh, logic in a better way so that is pseudo code in the next lecture series we'll be seeing that stay tuned to easy tutorials like share and subscribe to easy tutorials thanks for watching